Hello friends and welcome back to the Gamer Down. This is your host, Dark Hostess. And today we are in free march. And where I am right now is at the Iron Fortress, right there. See it on your map? It's not too hard to find. And if you want to maximize your cash, you want to be a guardian and you want to come over here to the lobby area. And if you're a defiant, you want to go over to like Silverwood or something like that because that's how you're going to make the most money. Because you have lobbies picking up artifacts all the time, you know. You know, they're not huge sellers generally. But, uh, you know, you have a little more competition. And it's a lot uh, rarer for these artifacts to be in your, your own au auction house, you know, if you understand what I mean. And if you see when I look down at that really hard to get artifact, you don't want to generally just jump off for the first artifact that's going to take you off your path. You know, you want to stick to like the walls of the fortresses before you jump off and then have to work your way back up to the top again. And uh, once again, in, in this area, you will have to fight mobs. You know, there's just no getting around that. But, you know, when you're, if you're level 50, there, it's just not going to be any problem for you at all. You know, if you have a pet, just let your pet handle them. The Iron Fortress in Free March is definitely an artifact hotspot. But there are artifacts spread all over Free March, generally. You can just really just ride and ride, and you'll find an artifact. But this is a hot spot for sure. You know, you're going to find more artifacts per square inch in, the, in areas like these, you know. That's what these videos are about, to show you where to hunt artifacts without, you know, wasting your time just riding around. But, you know, maybe you just like to explore. Anyway, there, uh, there's a lot of artifacts in this fortress here. And uh, all you have to do is follow the wall around... And also, you want to go to the tops of the towers as well, because there will be artifacts up there, and it will also give you an, adva an advantage point to look down, and you can see where the artifacts are on the ground as well. So there, there's an advantage to going up on the walls. And uh, one thing about the Iron Fortress here is uh, not a lot of artifacts spawn on the outside, and most of them are spawning on the inside. And as you see, like there's one down there, that house right there. And, uh, you know, this vantage point of being on the wall, you can just look down and plan your routes. And you want to plan your routes, you know, since you have to fight through a few of these mobs here. You know, they're not they're not any really big trouble. Um, you can fairly, pretty much just walk away from them, and they will take care of themselves, if, especially if you have a pet. And you'll see that the spawn rate is quite rapid around here. Now, you do want to try and get these hard to reach artifacts because generally they are something special not all the time and you and you they, they you know they are hard to get you know you have to use some tricks and you see you don't want to just run straight off towards an artifact like this the thing you want to do is edge your way to the edge and then turn around and walk backwards and walking backwards is a trick you can use on mountains and everywhere that, you know, you won't take fall damage and it slows your progress. You know, it helps you climb down to an area. And voila, I got an artifact right there. Easy as pie. And I was back up and in the tower in no time. And like I said, you do want to go to the very tops of these towers because there's always artifacts up here. Always. And like I said earlier... It gives you an advantage point to look down and, you know, see if there's any on the ground, see if there's any hidden. And you can spend a lot of time at this Iron Fortress here and fill up your backpacks in a fairly short amount of time. And uh, I got a couple of blue artifacts one of the very first times I got here. It was just like, bam, bam, blue, blue. And I was, I was like, all right with that. And that was an easy uh, 60 platinum right there. Depending on the time of day, you know, you might find quite a few people here. It uh, might be deserted like it is right now for me. But a few times I came here, uh, there was just, you know, lots of newbies leveling up. Because this is one of the major questing hubs for the noobs. Uh, the Defiant side, at least. And, uh, you know, just, you know, give them their room. You know, don't bug the noobs. That's what I always say. And, you know, just go to your next artifact hotspot. 
And uh, one thing I wanted to say, if you want to get to Free March, uh, there's a very easy way to get here. I mean, you'll be here in no time. Just go to through the drought lands. You'll be easy as pie. You'll be here. And here I am at Smith's Haven. And this is also another artifact hotspot. And you'll see it's right next to the Iron Fortress. So it's kind of nice because you can make your rounds on the Iron Fortress and then head over to the Smith's Haven. Get you a few artifacts over here as well. And uh, I always start off in this cave here because uh, a lot of times there's three right off the bat, right when you walk into this place. So. And we you know one nice thing, if you are the opposite faction, you don't have to worry too much about mobs, you know, like the Defiant uh, Guardians or whatever, attacking you, the Defiant Guards, I mean, and the Quest Givers. You just have to, uh, you know, keep your eyes open for, uh, you know, you don't accidentally walk into Meridian or something. And uh, you just walk around here, you know, walk around the Smith's Haven. There is a lot of damn mobs here, you know, so you, d you just, you know, pick your path and you can avoid most of them. And just keep your eyes open. Look on the windowsills and look around the buildings and, you know, try to wiggle your way through all this mass of mobs here. Uh, that's kind of why I prefer the Iron Fortress over here because uh, there's just so many damn mobs. You know, but there's a lot of mobs at the Iron Fortress as well, so it's pick your poison, pick your poison. And the spawn rate is just kind of ridiculous. It doesn't even really uh, pay off to clear out an area. It's just better to just, just fight as you go. One thing I also wanted to mention is uh, if you are a forager, forager or miner, you know, you, you might want to mine and uh, forage as you go pick up your artifacts in these hot spots because all of these hot spots are full of nodes. So yeah, if you haven't noticed that, they're, I just don't waste my time with them because I make a lot more money off artifacts. But there is, you know, if you just want to squeeze out, you know, every platinum you can, you know, go ahead and mine all the uh, the nodes that you find as well. You know, sometimes it's worth it. I, I, I do mine them if I'm in, like, the higher level areas. Uh, but you would be surprised. You would be very surprised how much copper and tin and, you know, the like sells for. I know I've mentioned it before, but I really can't stress it enough. Uh, go to your opposite faction's lobby area to hunt artifacts. They sell for 10 times as much because they're much rarer. You know, I'll, in, in your own faction, you have newbies that are leveling up and they're picking up artifacts and tossing them in the auction house. And, you know, there's just a lot more. And, if you, you know, you can find a, a common artifact in your opposite faction's zone and sell it for a very high price and you know it's very much well worth the effort if you're on a pvp server it's you know the artifacts are going to be even that much more rare and can sell for even that much more so there's an advantage but you know you have to fight you know the opposite faction the whole time so that's one of the risks and it probably would pay to be a rogue to do this because that way you could sneak around and get art all the artifacts you want and being in a newbie zone, uh, most of the uh, enemy faction is going to be newbies, so there's not going to be a whole lot of 50s roaming around these uh, the areas like the Iron Fortress and Smith's Haven, you know. So you don't have to really worry about that too much. And and the same goes for the Defiant, you know, when you're in Silverwood. And this has been Artifact Hotspots number two.